Okay, next uh, lessons page. Can login register be a separate page with larger print? Um, it should actually be a separate page. Uh, and uh, yes and no, they use the same log. They can use the same login link, and it will just take them to the appropriate page. So let's have a look at that on the lessons page. Login register. Right, it takes you to this empty page, and we've also got this uh, extra login register thing happening there. Ah, oh, I see. That takes you to the. Um, Hit a point. Right. Okay, so let's just review that. Back to visit the site. Okay, this login register actually takes you to book a lesson. If you look at, um, whoops, sorry, if you look at um, the bottom of the screen here, when I hover over this link, it actually takes you to book a lesson, which is the same as this book a lesson here. Um, this login register um, um, uh, menu item is superfluous, so we'll get rid of that. Um, and um, what we actually want is a link to this WP admin. And I'll show you why. Let's go back to the non logged in version of this. So this is um, in a different browser window, not logged in here. If I go to. Alright, now let's go. If I go to here. It will take me to um, the normal WordPress login screen. Hopefully. Right there. So it'll take me to the normal WordPress login screen. And if you um, have lost your password, then it gives you an opportunity to do that, to get that password back. Um, and that's fine. If you're uh, if you're talking there about users on your site, um, to book a lesson, let's click here and see what happens. Okay, now there's another login register button here, and these are to do with hit a point, right? So uh, if I click on log in, it will ask me to log in as um, um, as a as a customer if you like. So and if I don't have a login as a customer, then it will ask me to register on the site, which looks like this. register or login. So whether you click on the login or the register button here, it takes you to a page where you can do both basically. And this login register is completely different from the WordPress one for the site itself. So what I think you're asking me is directing people to this page here. Okay, uh, in fact probably the login version of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this URL that's being generated up here, that URL, and copy that, and I'm going to create a menu item out of that. So back here, and that menu item is going to be that there. So let's go to the menus, um, menu tool here, Right, so this login in register thing here, we need to get rid of that and replace it with something else. And we also want to get rid of this one. So get rid of that. Remove that. Um, I'll just leave this one here for a moment so I know where it's supposed to go. Now, to create a link to, um, to a non page, if you like, I can just paste this URL in here and we'll call that um, customer login register and add that to the menu and then move that into position here and then remove this one 
Okay, so that should tidy up our menu a little bit. So I'll just save that. Wait for that to refresh. And now let's go back to here and we'll just reload. Right, so our menu is uh, the correct height again now, and here, customer login register should take us to this page here. So let's test that by going to the home page. And then listens, customer login register, that should take us to the page um, intended for customers. There we go. Use the forms to book a lesson below. And that's, so that's all fine, and if they haven't got a login, they can register there. And so what that means for you and I, if we're editing the site, we use this link to log in to, as administrators. Teachers will also be using this link. Um, so WP Admin or something similar is quite appropriate for that. Um, and for customers, they log in over here. So that, that works.